Hello guys, this is Sasha from Triple English and today we're going to tell you about our three favorite programs to help you learn vocabulary and create your own word lists. We're going to start with spreadsheets. Let's imagine we need to input words in English and translate them into Russian and Ukrainian. So every time we come across a new word like abominable, for example, we want it translated into the two languages we have chosen. Google has a special trick to do this for you, easy and fast. All you need to do is input a formula. It goes like equals Google Translate and then you need to write the number of this very first square where you have your word. It's A2, A2, comma. Next, we need to input the source language. In our case, it's English. We write quote unquote and EN. We need to put a comma. Again, quote unquote and RU which stands for Russian. And we close the bracket. Let's see what happens. Abominable means отвратительный. We can do the same for Ukrainian. We'll just have to copy this and change Russian for Ukrainian, UK. And we have two translations of the same word. All you need to do to make all words in this column translated is make sure this formula is spread to the whole column. So every next word you write will be automatically translated in two languages. Now, why is it a good idea except for this handy translation trick? Any other program, which might seem a bit more user-friendly and may work as an app for your phone, namely Quizlet or Memrise, allows to import words from tables. Let's imagine this is our word list. It may be as long as you wish. We can copy it, create a word list in Quizlet, and then import. Why is it better to import from tables, not from Word documents, which is also an option? Because your word and translation are separated by a tab, a comma, or maybe a hyphen. So if you do not choose the right way of separation, or you were using something else, it might not understand it's a word in translation. It might think it's just one word and leave translation square over here empty when you import. When you're copying from sheets, it never happens. Look. What else is great about Quizlet? When you create words, yeah, it starts offering words, like let's just population, whatever. Now, having chosen a language we want to translate into, it will start offering you translations. You can choose one and your word is immediately here. So we create this word list, which we will name, I don't know, words and create it. We can share it, copying this link with other people. We can learn it using different means. Like, we can use flashcards in different orders, choosing the first language if the card is in Russian or in English, and then you have to translate, it's up to you. You can learn playing games, like matching over here. You can uh, write the words if you want to. They give you the Russian option and you write in English. You can also try to spell them. population, it said, yeah? and then it checks your word. We can also have a test. 
A task includes different types of tasks. Over here is also a matching game, gravity game. You can play live with other people. But again, you need to share your word list to play live with them. This was Quizlet. I think it's really handy, really easy to use, exists in the form of an app, and allows you to create unlimited number of free worksheets. We also have Memrise. Memrise also allows you to create your own word list. It offers ready-made courses as well. So with the words we copied here, remember, let's say we have English, Russian, like three pairs. We can give the course a name like words, we're teaching English for Russian speakers. By the way, your course, your word list will be open to others and other people may also want to study it. So you're asked to uh, input all this data for other people. Okay. And we create a course like this. Now, having created a course, you can just write word for word or you can do something advanced like bulk add word. Our words from the spreadsheet also work. We add them. And here we go. We have the words to learn. How does learning happen here? Well, first of all, it's a bit different because there is just one way to practice the words. You're given a word and a translation. It's not pronounced for you unless you record the pronunciation when you input the words. And then you're given simple tasks. If you have issues remembering, you can click help me remember and add some mem here, like you could write for yourself, start with the same letter or something. Now, having played with words like this, the program will remember you learned something and when you learned it. It will mark the day you practiced and remind you next day. You can also edit your goal and say that you want to practice 15 minutes every day or 45 every day. The app on your phone will send you notifications that it's time to learn today. It's time to do something. We hope this was helpful. See you in other videos.